I offer my humble pranam at the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Uh, uh, here uh, in this uh, today lecture, I'm going to explain how to interface push button and rack a switch with LED. Okay, actually here push button and switch is an example for sensors and LED is an example for actuators. Uh, and I'm going to implement this by using Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, now here, this is one component of what I'm going to use, push button. The another one is uh, racker switch. Uh, this is uh, by default, uh, it is open. Uh, it's going to generate a low signal. And once we press, then it's going to generate high signal. There's a low if it is not pushed and it generates high when pushed. And if you want to simulate uh, in Cisco Packet Tracer, uh, by the time you have to press Alt and then click. Uh, then only it's going to generate eye signal. Therefore, we can able to control LED uh, by pressing this switch. In the same way, if we go for racker switch, uh, here also we can able to find two status. Uh, actually, the racker switch press to turn on and off, all plus click to toggle between on and off. Therefore, I'm going to uh, do this uh, by using a Cisco packet tracer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not using uh, uh, directly microcontroller to control uh, LED. Uh, just I'm going to control directly. Uh, just click on components, then go to actuators, LED, just uh, take LEDs, uh, then go to uh, that is sensors, then push button, push button, here uh, this LED. The same way they take this rocker switch, then LED, go to actuators, LED. Okay. Uh, now, without wrote, uh, writing any program, I'm going to control this LED with the help of push button. In the same way, I'm going to control this LED with the help of this racker switch. Uh, therefore, uh, we have to connect, then go to connections, select IoT custom cable. Okay, connection is completed. Uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, just um, we can able to control this LED uh, by pressing this. Then how to press this? Therefore, uh, you have to press uh, hold down alt button, then click. That is, it's going to generate high signal, release, low signal, high, low, high, low, like this. In the same manner here, if you come to rack a switch, you also hold down halt key, then click mouse button, then we can able to control this LED directly without using microcontroller, without using a program. Uh, now I'm going to interface uh, the same thing with the help of microcontroller, and we are, then we are going to write program in Python to control this. Uh, then I want to delete this. If you want to delete, then we can go for what we call uh, a delete icon. This is a delete icon, click on this, then delete delete, delete, delete. Then if you want to come out of this particular delete mode, we have to press escape key. Okay. Now just we can start with this, that is a microcontroller unit. Then we need uh, what we call sensors. I need uh, two switch, yeah, push button, then rocker switch. Then I need uh, actuators, there is nothing but LED here. I need two LEDs, one for push button, another for how do you call racker switch. Okay. Uh, then here uh, we have to connect uh, to this microcontroller board, go to connections, select IoT custom cable, then D naught to D naught of microcontroller, then D naught from here to D1. Uh, actually here, uh, okay, uh, before this, what I will do is uh, from here, okay, let it be, I'm going to use this, that is D naught. Here D1 to this. Then D naught to D2. Here D naught to D3. Okay, now just you can place the cursor on this. 
uh, just you can press the cursor here d naught uh, is this d naught is connected to push button uh, d2 is connected to this uh, rocker switch then here d1 goes to led then d3 goes to this led now the connection is completed okay now we have to write a program to control this led by using this push button switch in the same way we control this led with the help of this push button uh, means rocker switch okay just click on this programming new then let it be uh, we are using both input as well as output input uh, then in and out let it be because uh, we are using both input device as well as output device that is a, a sensor actual uh, as well as actuator uh, in out the project name is in out then we are going to develop the program using python select python and create okay now i'm going to write a program for this then click on python okay now we can uh, increase the font size okay now uh, from from import to libraries from gpio gpio import everything from that then run time import everything from that then here we have to configure uh, those pins. Actually, we know that here there'll be D naught, but configure D naught as input, or D2 as input, D1 as output, as well as D3 as output. Uh, for that, there'll be a function called pin mode, pin mode, pin mode, then pin number zero. I have to configure this as input, input. In the same way, pin mode, pin mode pin number pin number that is nothing but uh, one that is one as output output okay so just we can see the hardware here pin number zero is connected to push button therefore to configure this as input and uh, d1 goes to led therefore you have to configure d1 as output in the same way you have to configure d2 as input and d3 as output therefore just copy this control c Control C, Control V, paste. Uh, then here pin number two as input and pin number three as output. Okay. Uh, now the configuration is completed. Then we have to write a program uh, to check the status of push button. If it is high, the LED must be on. If it is low, LED must be off. Uh, therefore, first we need one loop for infinite loop uh, while while true, it is infinite loop, then colon, now. Uh, I have to get the status from uh, push button if digital read, read data from push button. We know the push button is connected at pin number zero, read from that. Okay, if it is pressed, it returns high. If it is released, it, it, it returns low. Accordingly, I have to compare. Okay, that the, actually this indicates a comparison operator, double equal. If it is single equal, it's assignment, but double equal means it's a, uh, what you call comparison uh, uh, statement, comparison operator. Now we have to compare with i, i colon. Then if it is i, make that LED on, which is connected at pin number one. So digital, digital, digital right. Digital right, digital right, uh, pin number one, comma high. high. In the same way, if it is false, yes, yes. Okay, if the switch is released, then it returns low. Low equal to I false, then it comes to else. Then here, what we have to do is digital right, digital right, digital right then one comma low low okay now this is for uh, what do you call uh, this push button if it is pressed it generates i 
then we have to check with i if it is true then make led on otherwise make led off we have to repeat same thing for rocker switch uh, therefore copy this particular code control c then control v okay now here get the data from switch number two rocker switch uh, if it is i make led number uh, three on means we have to make led on now which is connected to number three otherwise make it uh, low okay now this is the code complete code for that it is in the infinite loop i have to check this output uh, okay if it is i make it on otherwise make it low if it is i make it uh, on otherwise make it low means off okay now what you can do is i'm going to run this program okay then uh, run run okay we can see here the name digital read digital read see there'll be something wrong here because you have to uh, write properly therefore there'll be some error that's line number 10 go to line number 10 here digital there'll be a mistake uh, digital say digital digital read digital read here digital write okay fine digital uh, digital read digital read digital read okay it must be proper it's going to check the syntax if it is fine then only it's going to execute uh, now we can run run now it is starting in out python now it start executing uh, therefore we can simulate uh, this the first uh, hold down that all uh, button then here click press it generates i signal then led is on if you release led is off press led is on release led is off in the same manner uh, once again i have to hold down the alt uh, key then click on this button using mouse on off on off say like this okay so this is the code for that we know that is this is the code uh, here that is actually you have to see the status of uh, what you call that is a read data from pin number zero which is connected push button okay it returns high then we have to compare with high if it is true then make led on which is connected at pin number one otherwise make it off in the same way same manner read data from pin number two which is connected at rocker switch if it is uh, pressed means if it is an on position it returns high then if it is high then switch on the led which is connected at pin number three otherwise switch off the led so thank you very much thanks for watching and if you have any doubts uh, we can write in a comment section thank you very much